Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Lenovo has released a new lineup called the ThinkBook S series. There's two types, 13 inch and 14 inch. Uh, it's going to be the ThinkBook 13S and the ThinkBook 14S. Um, both of these guys are built for business and extremely affordable. The CPU type, you're going to get a flavor of 8th generation WHL processor or an Intel iCore 7 processor. I would definitely go towards the 8th generation WHL processor rather than going to the i7 one. For memory, from my understanding, it looks like the 13S and the 14S is going to have onboard memory, meaning you can't upgrade it. So you got to make sure that you purchase the right one. You can either get it for 8 or 16 gigs. Now for graphics, it looks like for the 13S, you're definitely going to get an AMD Radeon 540X with 2 gigs and also an integrated Intel Ultra HD 620 graphics. Now, this is a little weird because I got this information from Lenovo and it looks like on the 14S, you're only going to get the AMD Radeon 540X with 2 gigs. Doesn't look like that you're going to get the integrated Intel 620 graphics card, which is strange because uh, depending on what processors you get, you're definitely going to get that Ultra 620. So I don't really know. I don't understand that. For storage, uh, you could get a mixture of a couple of things. Definitely an M.2 PCIe solid state drive. You could get it 128, 256, or 512. Or you could get the M.2 SATA solid state drive. And the highest that you get is 256 gigs. Now for pricing. Now the ThinkBook 13S is definitely going to be available on May this month. And the expected price is going to be around $729. Now for the 14S, it looks like it's going to also be available May 2019 this month. And the expected price is going to be only $749, which is only like $20 more. I would definitely go for the 14S. Why not? It's $20 more, but that's the retail price. So you don't really know what you're going to get. You might get like the basic, uh, probably i7 or maybe i5 processor with only four gigs of memory and maybe 128 gigs of solid state drive, right? For that price. Uh, if you want to get 256 or 512 gigs of solid state drive, a better processor, more memory. Uh, it looks like on the 14 and 13 S the cap is only 16 gigs. You might be spending them all a little around $900, which is not that bad. It's under a thousand dollars. And this is how it looks uh, nice brush grayish, solid color uh it looks nice it really really looks nice uh one of the cool things i like about this machine is that the ventilation is at the bottom right here rather than being inside here i've seen a lot of lenovo laptops with the ventilation like right in between the display and the keyboard and basically what happens when it gets really hot all that air just flows up to the display on this one I'll show you guys right now on this one it's right in the bottom Right here is the mouse right here, and it's just pushing it all out. It's not really hitting the display, so that's a good thing. Uh, I do notice on the right-hand side, it looks like you got two 3.1 USB. This one right here, the first one is always on charging, which is pretty cool, right? And the power button, the pictures that I've seen, looks like the power button will glow white or green, and this is like the flat view. See, this one right here is on green. The trackpad has some nice real estate, nice and large. Uh, it looks like the keyboard is backlit white. And on the other side, you only have, this is your power button, an HDMI and a type C port. Uh, I don't know if the type C is probably display. You're able to push out maybe 4K. It does have an ultra HD 620 plus also an AMD ready on graphics card. So most likely this machine is probably able to push out 4K. Who knows? And then finally, you have your combo audio jack, which allows you to hook up your headphone or a mic or a mic with a headphone, vice versa, right? And that's it, guys. I'm pretty excited with Lenovo's ThinkBook S series lineup. Uh, very it's extremely affordable. I can't believe under a thousand dollars, and you can, you're going to get those specifications. My only problem is is that these it's locked in with a particular size of memory. And I'm only assuming, you know, it, they only give you the choices of 4, 8, 16. And normally when a laptop is only giving you choices of 4, 8, 16, that means that the memory is on board. It's uh, integrated inside the motherboard. You can't really upgrade it, which sucks. So the only way I could find out is when I get one of these machines in the lab and test it out for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.